ャパノファイルズ。My friend Aaron here has been going through、um, Shinya Sukumoto's catalog. Yes.、Uh, what was the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw was Bullet Ballet. All right.、Uh, so, as far as Tokyo Fist, how does that fit in on your journey so far through Sukumoto Land? Tetsuo is my favorite movie. Yeah.、Uh, but not my favorite.、Uh, it's my favorite Sukumoto movie. It's like my fourth favorite movie, I think. It's it's really up there. Yeah, I I love Tetsuo、it. the Iron Man.、Uh, setting that aside, like Tokyo Fist is, I think, either my third or. Fourth favorite of the Sukumoto movies that I've seen. I, I like it a lot.、Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just—it's it, like right there. It's right above Tetsuo Two, I think.、Uh, right under Bullet Ballet, because、uh, Bullet Ballet edges it out a little bit more. And what I was gonna say is that a lot of、uh, Sukumoto's movies seem to kind of work in pairs. In Tetsuo and Tetsuo Two. Tokyo、yeah,、uh, Bullet Ballet. No, this is this is something I've picked up、Heroku、from the Goblin and uh, uh, <laughs> Bullet Ballet is it's in black and white, and so generally it's kind of got a, a darker tone、uh, visually. Is like a light mirror of Tokyo Fist. It's about three characters,、uh, two men and a woman. Uh, there are other characters that are kind of developed a little bit too, but、uh, those are the main three. Yeah, those are、one、the main three. One of which is, of course, Shinya Sukumoto. One of which is、yeah, uh, Shinya Sukumoto. Oh my God, is she? <laughs> oh, she she takes all the boxes. Aaron, I'll I'll cut this、It、out、is. for you if you want. But <laughs> I don't care. I don't but, care. But as I, soon as I, she is exactly my type. Yeah, yeah. I I was just about to say like, oh, this. As soon as I saw you posting about her, I was just like, oh, yeah, that's definitely an Aaron girl. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> No, it's just edit it with a, your own discretion. <laughs>、uh, I, I don't care.、Uh, I don't care if the world knows. Ted Raimi is exactly my type. Yeah. I don't care if the world knows. No.、Uh, so three characters.、Um, it's a kind of build up with all three of them.、Uh, the girl is kind of, she's not used in the same way. But she is like her whole shtick is she's just one of these people, and everybody kind of treats her like the token girl, kind of like she's part of the gang, but she's not. But she's not happy about that.、And、by the end, they're kind of put through this trial. Oh, they're put through a fucking trial. Oh my god,、uh, one of them messes up real bad. Yeah, real bad. And、uh, they're in a situation, and a lot of people die. But by the end of Bullet Ballet,、uh, the transformative experience that they go through is one which leads them to give up the shadow that they have. The, There is the something thing... very, very uplifting about that final shot. Oh my God! They well, they're burning the the bodies of the dead、uh, at the end, and it's like、uh, the, the tough guy. Is crying like he's bawling, and it's not just like he's crying because some of these people were his friends. He's, it's like he's being reborn. It's, it's like a birth,、uh, and he's giving up all of these childish things. And the two,、uh, Shinya Sukamoto's character, and、uh, I actually remember her name, Chisoto, is is her name. There you go. Yeah. That is rare、uh, for a Sukumoto film, like we were talking earlier. It was like, yeah, oh yeah, they because he builds on archetypes. You don't usually say. I only remember Chisoto because there's like a plot point where like somebody sends a fax that says Chisoto will die. Oh yeah,、uh, yeah, that's a that's a big part of it. But and like there's lots of little parallels. There's a scene where、uh, she goes through his house and like. Just kind of messes with his stuff and calls him, and it's a it's a nice cut to the start of the movie where his girlfriend calls him, and that's uh you had mentioned this I hadn't even thought about this、uh, until you'd said but like there's a thematic thing from the end of Tokyo Fist to the start of yeah, Bullet Ballet.、Yeah. Uh, the the end of Tokyo Fist is of course the the man survives his his friend's dead but his girlfriend is also dead and we start off the very first like scene in Bullet Ballet is just girlfriend's dead、yep. guys guys fucked guys gotta go get a gun <laughs> yeah yeah and and for him the gun is it's like a way to get 
power back. In this case, he's almost like he's the Hizuru of this movie in a lot of ways because his story is all about trying to get some kind of power because he gets involved in this whole thing with the delinquents that is completely unrelated to him. Uh, the very, very tenuous connection yeah, is like... End, like, uh, don't they have that moment where he could easily walk away? But yeah. It's like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plunk myself down right here. Like, What happens is... He's just in his house and the girl shows up and, and she's like, listen, you don't, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And he's like, no, nah, I'm there. Yeah. He's just immediately, no, no, absolutely. I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's that's, like, that's another good, uh... if it weren't for the fact that Tetsuo was such an important movie to me, uh, Bullet Ballet would probably be my favorite. I like it a lot. If Die Hard is a power fantasy about a man with a gun, then Bullet Ballet is uh, the same thing. It's a power nightmare about a man with a gun. The gun is a nuke. The gun is like this grand equalizer. It doesn't matter that he's a little wormy guy. Uh, and it's the method by which he uh, kind of retakes power in his life. Yeah, 